There are ways to lead at home and lead well. And if you want to have the office, hold the office of a bishop and you want to have that job, you need to learn how to lead well at home first with those that are close to you, with the people that you love the most. I mean, you should love your wife and love your children more than any other human being probably on this earth, right? I mean, we love God the most, but, but when it comes to your family, you should love them the most. So if you can't do a good job running your own house and leading the people closest to you, how are you going to ever be able to lead a group of people that's your extended family or spiritual family and that's not even your own flesh and blood? Look at verse number five. It says, for if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? And notice that ruling your own house and taking care of are being used practically interchangeably there. So when you're ruling your house, you're taking care of your household. You're making sure everything's being done. You have to have... You know, your children in subjection, with all gravity, with all gravity means all seriousness, right? They need to respect you. And people who are worthy of respect, your respect doesn't come because you hold a title. That's right. Amen. People will not respect you just because, you know, you can get superficial respect, but not true respect. Yeah. You go up and into the workforce and work for people, you know, you get people with the title of manager or supervisor or foreman or whatever it is that's supposed to have some level of respect. And if they're not a good leader, and if they slack off and never do anything and just, you know, and, and, and they're not good at their job, people won't respect them. You may have to show some degree of respect in order to keep your job. So if you want to keep your job, you might do that. But people won't have any real respect for you, and that's not a good leader. In your home, your children need to respect you. They need to understand that there's consequences for their own actions. And then they also need to see one of the best ways to gain respect is by doing. Yeah, that's right. And one of the best ways to lead is by doing. When, when you have a leader that goes with the group and says, hey, here's how we do this, and you show how you do it, you don't just tell how you do it, those are the best leaders. And those are the ones that people are going to respect. I don't know how many times I've been in jobs, and, and this just relates for the concept of leading. You know, people complain, oh, corporate hands down this, and we got to start doing this. And the reason why people grumble and complain about that is because they're not doing the work. And they don't really understand the day-to-day -day stuff, and they think, oh, man, we're going to make things better, we're going to do this and do that. And then people are like, this isn't going to work. We're actually doing this every day. We can see this. It's no good. You have to be doing the work to be able to come up with this stuff and to be able to lead. Now, someone who rises through the ranks, they understand this stuff. They're going to be a lot better, you know, and, and the people will respect them, you know, maybe those in, in, in corporate or whatever. And we'll be able to respect their decisions, even if they just know, hey, this person has worked and done a good job and has worked their way through than just someone who just has a title, right? Getting paid a lot of money for whatever. Because uh, you know there's a lot of people out there that just, they, they get good jobs, they get a lot of money, they're not really good at what they do. <laughs> they, can, they can get their way into jobs, and they have bad character traits. Character flaws, they're not good leaders, yet they get leadership positions. You see it all the time. Um, but if you want to be to hold the job of a bishop, the Bible's saying here you need to be a ruler because the bishop is the one in charge, is the one managing the church and making decisions for the betterment and care of the church. So here's one of the best places where we can see that a bishop is that one in charge. It's not a board of deacons. It's not a board of, you know, people, of, of, of corporate title holders. You know, uh, our church isn't incorporated. I don't care if people do, but if, but if your church is incorporated, you have to have, you know, secretaries, president, vice president, whatever, different offices that people hold. Those offices aren't in the Bible. 